Hey guys, it's Jarek the Gaming Dragon doing some more Halo Reach gameplay. We're in Forge World again, except for this time I had a hand in building this map. So you start out with a pretty interesting jump, just a large platform, nothing out of the usual until you get to the very bottom and it just teleports you straight with a lot of momentum. Now if you don't turn, you can actually go straight into that that uh, that wall and it doesn't do any damage to you, but you'll do a cool like barrel roll type thing. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Now, a lot of the work here you're actually going to see is uh, stuff that ZZ did. ZZ is a good friend of mine, he's been around for a while, so if that name sounds familiar to you, I've mentioned him quite a few times when he made a few intros for me. Uh, the original one with the Half-Life song, that that's an intro he used. I'm still using one of his outros. He edited a lot of pictures, he made the picture for that uh, the, my RDA logo. So if the name sounds familiar to you, it's because he's done some stuff for me, and uh, I've mentioned him, so that, that name might might be in your brain somewhere. But yeah, I, this is who I did the map with. It was with him. And most of the work you see, like up until this point, this has all been ZZ's work. And uh, he did a lot of the cool things, the teleporters, like this right here is uh, the second interesting teleporter jump you're gonna see, and I landed it pretty smooth. Sometimes you can do a lot of barrel rolls and go flying, and it's very, very amusing, but he, he's his mindset is make the map as smooth as possible, and my mindset was to make the map as fucking crazy as possible. So, um, I, I guess it worked out. Now this jump, uh, no matter how much you try it, there's no way to make it really that smooth because Halo physics don't like you half the time. You'll land and it'll like send you 10 feet to the right for no fucking reason. Now here, I kept overshooting the, uh, the landing pads here, the one-way walls, and uh, he all he had to do was just add a second one and uh, it ended up working almost every time. So here's another interesting teleporter. Now this is where I actually came in. After you go through this teleporter, the next jump was actually the very end of the course. And uh, coming up right here, this is the very end of the course. So I originally put a teleporter at the very bottom of this jump, so that it would launch you back to the beginning. And he decided to be a smartass and turn it while I was testing it. And I just launched in a random direction. So you're going to see I launched in a direction and almost hit the island. And actually I did hit the island and I died. And then we started putting more teleporters, and this is the final result, so it came out of us just screwing around. Normally it doesn't hurt you this bad. <laughs> I almost just exploded on contact. Normally you don't nosedive, I don't know why I did. And I don't know how I got the uh, the warthog to land like that. I couldn't do that if I, if I was trying to. That was crazy. Usually your worst concern here is rolling off of this platform, and uh, normally it doesn't hurt you. So we put about five, that's actually like five man cannons there, and normally you do a front flip, but you never do the same thing every single time, so I put a grid there just to make sure that you wouldn't roll off. And then this jump I overshot it a little bit. While I was playing, I was like, oh god, I'm gonna explode, and I didn't. Once again, usually it's a lot smoother, but for some reason I landed and just stopped. Halo physics don't always work the same way, and uh, they like to mess with you a lot. Now coming in the Blood Gulch, uh, th that's... You know, like I said, that teleporter, that's where I came into doing this. Now, coming in the Blood Gulch, I wanted to do something a little bit different than everyone else, because a lot of people just didn't do anything in Blood Gulch. A lot of people left it open and then put a teleporter at the end and called it good. But I wanted to actually do something. So that jump you saw there, I decided to put that in. This jump you see here, I decided to put this in. And I put down the general what you're supposed to do on this map. Basically, I put down where I wanted the jumps and everything, and he ended up coming back through and, you know, it's like, okay, so let's, let's put some guardrails here and loop it around here, do a lot of finishing polishing touches while I was doing the more creative clusterfuck up the map touches. <laughs> like, this jump, I think, is probably the coolest jump I've seen in any of the, uh, the Forge Worlds that I decided to put in here. And it's nothing like a giant jump, but just where you land is so perfect, right in the middle of the cave, just like that. Like, and it works every single time. It's one of the smoothest jumps, and it's one of the coolest ones. And then I decided to add in an extra jump here just because, and I screwed it up in this video by hitting that rock, but it still worked. And then, uh, I wanted to originally go up here. This was my idea to go up here. And then I wanted to hit the turn and do a giant jump into Blood Gulch and basically call that the end. Um, but he had a different idea and wanted to loop it all the way around, and then I suggested, as you can see here, it's, it's all the way against the wall. I panned out so you guys would see that. Um, so there you go, just kind of a cliff, and ZZ was going for the, uh, kind of a coast drive thing, but, um, yeah, I, I decided, well, let's go over here then, if you, if you want to go that direction, let's, uh, take it down along these, these different ledges on the walls and go over by the waterfall, 
and um, I guess he liked that idea and started doing this. And then he made this jump and landed. It works almost every time, surprisingly. I've never fallen off that. No, no, I fell once, and that was just because Zizi got his ass in my way <laughs> with his warthog, and then it shoved me off the cliff. And uh, the rest of it isn't really anything too special. I mean, it's kind of cool you go over by the waterfall and everything, and it's running next to the wall instead of just floating in the air. Um, but this is really the... Coming out to the end of the course, and this is kind of where we were... I was getting very, very tired. I just wanted to finish the course at this point, and so did he. So, uh, like I said, a lot of this is his work. Um, you know, I, I came up with a lot of the cool ideas, but most of the work was actually done by him, or at least most of the polishing, polishing touches after I came in. And uh, there you go. There's the whole course. There's the rundown. I think it, it works pretty well. And uh, definitely one of the more fun ones, and I wanted to cover all of Forge. And I, I think we did a pretty decent job of that. You can see almost all the course from here, not really, but you can see him leading that direction, shooting out of joy for finishing the course. Anyway, that's the end of the video. I think I hope you guys will enjoy it, and I'll see all you guys later.